Hi, I'm Daniel Shanahan from New Leaf Data, and I'm going to show you a powerful way to view all of your bill of materials in a product, a kit, or a bundle. If you are a manufacturer or a distributor with bundled products, then this tool will be immensely helpful. In this video, I'll show you two files, Bomb Tree Basic, which is a free demo file, and Bomb Tree Pro, which is a paid product. Both files contain Bill of Materials Tree. Let's take a look at those. Here's Bomb Tree Basic. Here's the Pro version. And I'll go over the differences as we go through this video. And both of these produce a hierarchical Bill of Materials Tree. But first, let's take a look at the problem of a typical bill of materials list. In a typical bill of materials list, you only have one level. So in order to make this item number, I have to have these items in this quantity. But as I scroll through and go to the next item, I can see that it itself is a subcomponent and it has bill of materials. I didn't see that at the first level. And I can continue to work my way down until I'm at the raw material. That's not immediately known when I'm looking at this list. Contrast that to this bill of materials tree. Now I can see all of the items and all of the subcomponents sub that I need to make this item. So let's go through some of the components here in this bomb tree file. On the top level, I have some general information about the item. I have the item ID, the item number, a name, description if it, if it exists, doesn't exist in this one. And then I have whether we need to build it or buy it. In the pro version, which again is a paid product, there are additional fields the lead time, what it takes to put this item together, the lead time for all of the bill materials, and the cumulative lead time, which is the lead time for this item plus all of its bill of materials. Over on the left, I have a series of item quantities, starting with on hand. This is what is physically in the building or in all of our warehouses. I have an allocated quantity, this is the quantity promised to a customer, but it hasn't shipped yet. There's the available quantity. Available means what am I able to sell? So available is, is on hand minus allocated. On order tells us what is on ordered from the vendor. And on back order is a stock out. These are this is the quantity of this item that a customer wanted but we were not able to fulfill. Below that is a unit of measure. On the top I have a couple more quantity items. I have a number that I can sell and I have a number that I can make. The can make number comes from the bill of material tree. It's calculated by what would be available based on all the different items that are available for components, subcomponents, all the way up to the final build. There's already, uh, let's see, there's already 64 that are built and on the shelf and ready to go. And so the can sell is what I have available plus what I can make. Let's look at the tree itself. In the tree itself, I can take a look at different levels and I can drill into those levels by going to the left caret icon over here and I'll rebuild that again by clicking on the load default bomb tree. The button on the right is simply to clear the tree In the list itself, 
we have the, the item ID, the item number, the item name, and now we have what's required. This is the number of units that's required to make this unit. So I need three of these, ten of these, seven of these, and so on. This is a list of what I have available. Again, available is on hand minus allocated. If I take this top line here, I know that I need three of these items. I have 79 available somewhere on my shelf. So 179, excuse me. And 179 divided by 3 gives me a whole number of 59. So I know that I can make I could make 59 of these units just based on this line item. But that's not true as we go down through each other each line item. When we get to the next line item, I can't make 59 items. I can only make 17. So that would be my my quantity that I could make of this particular item. It goes down like that until it finds the lowest number possible. You can only make the lowest number of the build. That happens to be here at 15. When we come back over to here, we could see that the can make does indeed show 15. That's what I can make based on all the materials available. It also says sees that I have 80 units already built on a shelf somewhere. 80 plus 15 is 95, so my can sell is 95. When I go back up the tree, I can see that number here. The 95 is what I can sell. And here's the final product here. And as you go down, you'll see that the subcomponents gather up until they calculate what can be sold and what can be made. Finally, on the, uh, the bill material tree basic, I can come over to the locations, and in this particular instance, I have this item exists in three different warehouses. And I have the quantities in those warehouses, what's on hand, what's allocated, and what's available. The thing that's interesting about this, or very useful about this, is that I can click this bill material tree from here and it will, it will build the tree, but it will make the calculations only on what's in that particular warehouse. So it doesn't tell me what, what's in all of my collection, only in the collection at that particular warehouse. Again, another very powerful feature that's both in the free version and the paid version. This file, again, is Bomb Tree Basic, and it's a free demo file. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how, to, how you can download this file. There's also the paid product, which has more features. So let's take a look at that. As I mentioned before in the Bomb Tree Pro, there are additional fields at the top that calculate the lead time for everything in the build. We can see that down here. Again, we have our line. We know what's required, what's available. We know what we can make and what we can sell. But now we have a couple of new lines. We have this line, which is a need to fulfill. And this is based off a new field that is over at the left. In the Bill of Material Tree Pro version, the user has a way of entering the number of units that he or she wants to make. So in this case, the user wants to make 100 units, 1,000 units. What does it take to make a thousand units of this item? What do you have on hand? What do you have in stock? What can you build? And what do you need to order? And this gives you that number. So for example, for this item, we could see that these are all the numbers that would have to be ordered. This particular item doesn't have to be ordered. It's a negative number. That's already in stock. So there's plenty of that item in stock to make this build, but it's not true for the others. And then what's the lead time? The lead time is here, three days, six days. These are all in days. As this number changes, 
let's say I only want to make 50. This number changes then too. I no longer need to purchase, make a purchase order for this particular item because I have a negative number here. That means I have more than enough to build. When I get down here, I need to order at least 33. I need to order 33 to make this build. Let's take a look at some of the other features of Bomb Tree Pro. In the list, you might have some items that could be swapped out for different items. In other words, they could be substituted. Those are indicated by these arrows here. This item, the tap bolt stainless, can be substituted. These are the lists of potential substitutes. Let's go to that item, the tap bolt stainless, and you could see that there's another set of lists here that indicate where can this be substituted? To make a substitution, I'll click on this and I'll select the gold, tap bolt gold. Now I have an option. Tap bolt stainless, this item here, occurs more than once in our bill of materials. It might be in various subcomponents. And so this tool is smart enough to look through and find where those component where that item is in the tree and it's and it asks us a question do we want to replace the stainless steel for the gold for just this particular line or for all instances of the tap bolt stainless and we have three options we can cancel the whole process we could say only this one or we could say all of them I'll say only this one and we'll see that it changed to tap gold, tap gold, tap bolt gold. Easy for me to say. Let's come down here and we could see here's another instance where tap bolt stainless uh, has, has stayed and here's another instance of it as well. Let's change those. I'll make those titanium and I'll say all. And now the gold stayed gold because it was no longer stainless. But down below we have two instances of tap bolt titanium. That's the power of substitutions in your bill of material tree. Now we may want to save this and so we have yet another feature in the paid version and we could save this bill of material tree. And now over here I have a list of bill of materials that I can access. Those are all the saved, previous saved bill of materials. Now I could refresh this list whenever I need to or I could clear it out and I could return to the original list of bill of materials with those stainless tap bolts by rebuilding the tree. And here they are. And that's true for those down here as well. Now that you've seen the bill of material tree, both the basic version, the free version that's in a demo, and the paid version, bill of material tree, bomb tree pro, how do you use them? They're not full systems. They're not a complete inventory system. These two tools are meant to be taken and implemented into another inventory management system. So you could use them in the following ways. If you have a system, you could put them into your own system. If you want to build a system, I have a free file, FM Inventory Starter, that's a shell and you build out from FM Inventory Starter. You could take the bomb tree, basic or pro, and use it as you build your own solution using FM Inventory Starter. Another option is to use an off-the-shelf solution that I have called FM Inventory. FM Inventory is a complete solution that takes you from the purchasing process through the receiving and the put away. It goes through estimates, sales orders, pick pack, ship, and it can move things throughout the warehouse. It's a more complete solution. This is another option where you can use the Bomb Tree Pro. 
You could even use it here. This is FileMaker's inventory starter solution. The point is, BombTree Basic and BombTree Pro are, are modules that you can incorporate into any inventory solution built on the FileMaker platform. To get the free file, go to filemakerinventoryresources.com. Here I have written a collection of articles. It's about 33 articles and I think 13 demo files that will help you in your process of building your own inventory management system on the FileMaker platform. The demo files are down at the, at the bottom and it's right down here, demo file bomb tree basic. Click on that, fill out the form, and you'll get the file. Again, that one's free. To download the pro version with more features, go to FM Inventory Starter and go down to the bottom to the products. You'll see Bomb Tree Pro here. Right next to it is another bill of materials tool called Visual Bomb. I've done another video on Visual Bomb, and I'll make a link to that in the description. Check out Visual Bomb. The reason you want to check out both of these is that there's there's a great deal. There's a bundle for $150. So it's a great deal if uh, rather than buying both of these individually, you could buy them together and get the power of both of these on how to see your bill of materials. That covers the two bill of material products that I have. Bomb Tree Basic, again a free demo file, and Bomb Tree Pro which is a paid file. If you have any questions at all, go over to my website, www.newleafdata.com, and you'll see a way to uh, fill out a form and send me a question on the website. Thanks.